Well, we continue our coverage here at the World Economic Forum in Davos. Joining us now is Fatih Barol. Fatih, appreciate you joining us and good to have you back. What's the outlook as far as commodity prices are concerned, especially crude? Uh, the IMF says 55 to 60. We've got several other reports that suggest it could be higher than that. What's your own outlook? So, uh, first of all, last year, it was not a, a very uh, stable uh, year for the oil prices. We have seen prices went up to $86, yes. which was a major burden for many oil important countries, including India, China, many Asian countries, also Latin America and Africa. So, uh, but uh, the, the producers uh, uh, did bring new volumes to the markets, comfort the markets. It came to uh, $55, $60. And I should also comment here, uh, Minister Pradhan did a lot of effort, international efforts, to bring the prices down, uh, discussing with me and other uh, uh, oil-related uh, uh, figures. Now, for this year, the good news is, for countries like India, a lot of supply coming from United States, mm. Brazil, mm. Uh, elsewhere, but if the uh, OPEC plus Russia cuts the production, this may well give an upward pressure on the prices. What I see this year is that U.S. oil putting downward uh, pressure on the prices, OPEC and uh, Russia upward pressure on the prices, therefore lots of volatility. Mm -hmm. The name of the game this year in terms of oil prices is the volatility of the prices. We should be ready, but I don't expect huge price increases under normal conditions if there are no major geopolitical tensions among the key producers or consumers. So given that the U.S. is going to exert downward pressure on prices in OPEC and Russia, upward pressure on prices, what's the kind of band that you expect prices to move within? I think the I see the floor price today is about uh, $60, okay. uh, but uh, if it goes much higher, like we have seen last year, it's close to $90, this is, a, for me, a red zone for the global economy. Already weak. It can be even weaker with the higher oil prices. So, therefore, we all have to act uh, responsibly, producers and consumers, not to shake the global economic growth uh, much stronger than it is now. What's the outlook in terms of OPEC and Russia looking at further production cuts and curtailing production further? What I read in the papers, what I hear from the colleagues that they have uh, firm intentions uh, to uh, have uh, strong uh, cuts in the uh, uh, production, but when and if they will do it and how much they will do it is uh, up to them. But one shouldn't forget something. The game has changed. In the past, we only look at Vienna, what will be the decisions, if the price will go up and down as a result of those decisions, but now there is a reaction coming from United States, mm. big time, shale. Uh, the, uh, last year, uh, shale production increased very, very uh, strongly. For example, Iran, we just uh, uh, talked about Iran is a very important uh, uh, country in terms of production. Only the one field in the United States, the Permian uh, field, produces today as much as uh, oil as the total Iran oil production. Mm -hmm. So there's a big production growth coming from the United States. So the decisions are uh, not only taken in Vienna, mm. but there's a, a decision coming from uh, the United States in terms of commercial decisions, sure. not political decisions, sure. in order to bring more oil to the markets. You know, since you talked about this rebalancing with the U.S. gaining supremacy, even when it comes to uh, oil and gas, uh, for a country like India, in light of the Iranian sanctions especially, uh, you know, will the U.S. play a much bigger role going forward? I think a uh, U.S. oil and uh, gas as a result of shale revolution is a big, big, big story. And we have already seen many impacts of that. If anybody thinks it is the end of the uh, shale uh, story in terms of its impacts, he or she is making a big mistake. Okay. We are just in the beginning of the movie. Mm -hmm. Yet to see a lot of chapters in this movie called U.S. shale, both oil and gas. We will see implications for the markets prices, uh, energy security, and uh, beyond that for the uh, economy.